but this is where the dealership gets into a scam. So for today's episode, it's actually kind of nice out, you know, every this past week and a half, it's literally been nonstop raining in South Florida. It's finally a little bit sunny. It does say that it's going to rain about 60% around one o'clock this afternoon. Right now it is currently 11 o'clock. Basically, I'm going to go test drive a couple trucks. You guys have been seeing, I haven't had a car in about two plus years now. Basically what happened was I got uh, into a bad accident, totaled my car and the insurance company didn't cover it. So basically I just had to pay. I'm still paying for that car that I don't even use anymore. That's the reason why I haven't been able to get a car and I've been kind of going back and forth if I should get either a used truck and just buy it out straight cash or should I finance and put some money down. Well I think I'm going to go with the finance route just because I don't want to end up paying a lot of money on a used vehicle and it doesn't last versus financing a vehicle that has low miles that you know one owner is just a lot better doing it that way. So we're going to Ford dealership. I'm going to take out a couple F-150s. We have two that are 2012. One's a white one, one's a gray one. And then I think we have a 2016 or 17, which is a black one. Now the main issue, the main thing that I'm kind of torn between is the 2012s are all equipped. Backup camera, cooling seats, heating seats, power seats, power sliding window, just leather seats. Everything is fully equipped with Either the gray one I think has 50,000 miles and the white one has 100,000 miles. Now, 100,000 miles, you might be like, why would you do that? Well, trucks honestly last so long. I had an F-150 before I had the car I had last, and it was lasting like 200 plus thousand miles with no problems, it's still running strong. Now, the 2016 or 17, the black one, has cloth seats, no backup camera, no cooling seats, no heated seats. It's just basically the basic, basic trim you can get. So I'm kind of contemplating, should I get a new one with less miles that have no options or if I should get a little bit older one with more miles that have all the options that I want or need. So let's quickly head over to the Ford dealership, see what they have to offer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It's going to be a little bit different than the normal videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. So I just made it to the local Ford dealership. I'm quickly going to look around before I go inside and talk to anyone because you know how car salesmen are. They just, they're horrible. But I just saw this. Look at this. This is the new Ranger uh, small pickup truck. This is the Lariat edition. I don't know how I feel about it. I always thought that like, because my dad is like, oh, you don't need a big truck. Like get a small truck. But the thing is, is that the price between this and like a full size truck is a few thousand dollars so honestly for the space and everything i'd rather just probably get uh, a bigger truck but let's see what they have for the used section over here i showed you guys this truck last time in a video um so when i first saw this i thought it was a diesel but the thing is this is a gas lifted truck lifted probably about six to eight inches on 38 inch tires on 24 inch rims so it's like to have this lifted truck as a gas is such a waste of money. Like if you're going to do all this work, you need to get diesel because if not, your gas mileage is going to be ridiculous. And that's the reason why this truck has been sitting for so long. Now we're getting into the F-150 use. So this is a 2018 red one. I'm not going to get red. Definitely not red. Okay, so this is the white FX2 back here. Not this one, but this one back here is the 2012 one that I came to look at. This one has about 97,000 miles, basically 100,000 miles. FX2 2012, again, uh, EcoBoost 3.5 V6 twin turbo engine and just all the works inside as is no warranty 97,000 miles and I believe they want uh, $18,000 for this truck it's not bad if I had to pick color wise I'd probably go with the white versus the the gray one now this blue one is a Larry. Oh, okay. So it's a two door, two and a half door. Basically, I need a four door. I want a four door with Jackson and the dogs. It'll be a lot easier to have a four door versus a two door. But yeah, this is one of the 2012 trucks. It looks super clean, to be honest. Let's see if we can find the gray one, if it's still sitting here or if it got sold. It probably got sold though, just because I don't see it. And that gray one is the main one I wanted. But that gray one only had 50,000 miles to one owner. So I imagine someone pulled the trigger on that quickly. I wonder if the 2016-17 one is still out here. Oh, look at this one. This one's a Ford F-150 Harley-Davidson. Guys, this is like a 2003, and it's going for like 13,000, 14,000. It's crazy how much that these trucks hold their value. Supercharged F-150. Oh, 2002. So a 2002 for $15,000, and I'm looking at a 2012 for 18. It's just crazy how much trucks hold their value. 
I don't see, oh, this one's really nice. This limited, this one's like 50 grand though. But look at the blue interior, if I can get this on camera. That has a blue outside, and then the interior is blue. Oh, it doesn't even, no. Usually the interior is blue on these limiteds, and that's why they're like $50,000. But I'm not seeing the gray FX2. They must have sold it, which it doesn't surprise me, just because, like I said, it only had 50,000 miles. Maybe I'll get the keys for that white one and check out the white one inside. Missimo. It's kind of cool. Alright, let's go see. Yeah, I've been contemplating uh, either buy one straight out or uh, finance. And I guess to build the credit, it's probably better to finance. Absolutely. You want to do that always. Where'd you see it at? Uh, straight back. Straight back. Power everything. Yeah. I see it down here. Pretty stock as far as like the uh, like the center console goes. Yeah, but the rest of it is you know a little step up. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm kind of contemplating because like I can get a 2012 with all the options, heated, cool seats, power, right, uh, all of that, or I can get like a 2016 with no options for you know four grand more. A little more, yeah. Yeah, so that's where I'm kind of contemplating whether I should go older with more options or newer with less options, well, and that's why I wanted to check it out. Situation, since you don't have the credit. When you're dealing with a higher number, your yeah. monthly payment's gonna be real high. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? So even the down payment at that point, with four or five grand higher, it, yeah. it's, it's significant. Mind if I start it up? Absolutely not. <laughs> that didn't sound good. No, that's not a good way to start off a car. Go ahead and uh, and, and, and do that again. I gotta. I might have service. Have to take a look. Maybe might it might been, be this. It, it hadn't been started in a while. Yeah, maybe the start or something. Yeah. That can also help you out, man. Let me be honest. I'll be honest with you. Listen. Help or you know, I, I get a lower price, but then I drop it off the lot and it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, no, but you gotta. We have a three uh, a three day uh, three day money back guarantee. Yeah, definitely. And even up to seven days, they'll they'll fix the problem if it's not. Yeah. Which I've actually, my mom said I should even look at like extended warranties, but I feel like those are always a trap, but she's in the car business, so she probably knows what she's talking about. She does, she does, and, and extended warranties are very good, especially when you're dealing with used cars. Yeah. It's 97,000. What's the miles on it? 97,000. Yeah. yeah, extended warranty could be a good idea. Okay. No sunroof. Do me a quick favor. Yeah. Turn it off and turn it back on again. That was very weird. Because our, our used cars, bro, we make sure. Yeah, it's that's that had to have been that it hasn't been started in a while. Yeah, oh, here I guess let's pop it. Check it out. That's one thing that I wanted to look at the gray because this has the 3.5 twin turbo versus right. the other one had the V8. It should be the whole thing is up. Sounds like a belt. The belt's rotating solid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is a Harley Davidson 2019 or 2020 edition. $100,000 truck. Supercharged everything. Harley Davidson, it's on a lift kit, big tires. This thing's crazy. Insane. See, honestly, if I had $100,000, I don't know if I would get this, though, to be honest. You know? Like, it's nice, but maybe not $100,000 nice. Then they have this one. This is the Shelby Supercharged one. This one, now, granted, I might. I would probably would pull the trigger on this one just because this one's a Shelby supercharged. This one's crazy, just like the Mustangs, but still a $100,000 truck. But it's beautiful. Toyota, 
Yeah, Toyota for some reason just. Oh, you're just oh, okay. I didn't know if you wanted to grab it off the lot. No. Okay. All right, so I just made it back from the Ford dealership. I couldn't really film, obviously, while I was test driving. I wasn't gonna ask the, the salesman, like, yo, can you film while I'm test driving this vehicle? Um, but I did test drive it now. Granted, that was the 3.5 twin turbo V6 engine. Like I said, the gray one that I originally intended on looking at or possibly purchasing, already sold, and that one had the 5.0 um, V8, you know, no turbos at all. Now, personally, I would rather want the V8 just because I feel like twin turbo v6 is probably gonna have to do a lot more maintenance versus just a uh you know a single v8 now granted maybe the v6 may get a gallon to three less you know i think i checked the miles per gallon on when i was test driving and it said like 14.5 i imagine the v8 probably gets like 13 or maybe 12 you're probably thinking emilio that's horrible gas mileage what are you thinking but i've had trucks before and i've had cars before and honestly Trucks are so safe. I literally totaled a car when I had my old F-150 and all I had to do is basically change the bumper versus then they had to get a whole new car. So trucks are just so safe. Like literally you can hit anything. You don't have to worry about scraping the ground. You don't want to, like if it gets a scratch, it's like, oh, whatever, it builds character versus getting a car. You're like, oh, it's a scratch like that. I ruined my car. Also, I have an 85 pound dog, as you guys see, and with him, It'll be very easier, it'll be a lot easier to have a big truck to throw him in versus a small compact car that he has to like lay down because he's too tall to stand up in. So that's kind of like the, the main reasons. Another reason also that I want to get a truck, I feel like I'm like persuading you guys the reason why, but I'm just giving you guys a little insight on why I want a truck versus a uh, like a Honda Civic that gets 40 miles per gallon, you know? Whenever I go thrifting or let's say I go garage sale hunting or whatever, if I have a pickup truck and let's say there's a bookcase that they're giving away for free or a couch that they're giving away for free that I could end up flipping or whatever the case may be, I can really throw it in the bed of my truck, you know? So that, that kind of equals out to that. Sorry, the dogs are playing right now. Like, look at them. Captain, why are you beating up Jackson? Stop biting his tail. Captain beats him up like it's so funny because Jackson's half this like a quarter of the size, but Captain really, really gives him a run for his money. So back to the dealership. We sat down and they gave me like price quotes or whatnot. They wanted my social security number. I did not give it to them because I don't want them to run a credit check. I don't want that to hit my credit score unless like I'm I'm really serious on making a vehicle purchase. So they gave me a price. You guys see the truck is $19,820 after all the tax and everything. I'm looking at about $23,160. Now, $23,000 for that truck is pretty expensive. Let's just give you an example. If I had cash and I was gonna pay a cash, I'd probably get it for about, let's see, they want 23, I could probably get it about for 16,000 cash. But that's kind of the versus of buying at a dealership and financing versus just paying cash straight out. Uh, obviously, you're gonna pay more with the financing, but this is where the dealership gets into a scam. I didn't give them my credit score or anything and they gave me these monthly projections at 4,500 down, 5,500 down, or 6,500 down. Basically at 4,500 down at $423 for 60 months is a 35% interest rate. Now 35% interest rate is honestly ridiculous, like unheard of. That is retarded, it's like I, I, I can't imagine anyone that would pay a 35% interest rate. That is beyond ridiculous. And I asked him, I was like, why did you guys price it at 35%? He's like, oh no, we did it at 9%, but it's 9% per year. Well, little do they know, my mom works in Chase Financial Services, so she knows about anything financial. I call her up, I'm like, hey, is it a fixed rate or is it supposed to be like per year? My mom basically was like, no, that that's, that's not right if you're buying the car for $10,000 or $20,000 and it's a 10% interest rate, you're paying 10% off the purchase price. It's not gonna be 10% each year. That's, that's how they get you with the scams. And the dealership, like the manager knew what I was talking about and he kind of was like, oh, well we didn't run your credit score so that's kind of like just a base thing that we give to everybody. Said, so you give everyone 35% interest rate. He's like, no, we gave nine. Either way, dealerships are a scam. Um, I'm not gonna be purchasing that F-150. I'm not gonna be purchasing it probably at this dealership just because, not to say that it's a bad dealership, but if they're trying to wax me with 35% interest rate before I even like, 
you know, but you would think that they would go a little bit lower so that way they would persuade me to do it and then come back like, oh, well, you didn't get approved with this interest rate. The interest rate is a little bit higher, but they went literally the max interest rate you could literally do to show me. So I'm not going to do with this. I'm going to keep looking. Like I said, the truck that I did want was the gray one with 50,000 miles ended up selling. The white one was my backup plan. So I always thought whatever's meant to be will be meant to be. So when it's time for me to have a vehicle, then it'll be time to do it. But for the meantime, I'm just gonna kind of look for other options. I might do other videos later this week of test driving other vehicles. Um, I am gonna stick with the Ford though. I don't wanna go Chevy, maybe Dodge, but Dodge, I really like the Cummins. I don't like the gas diesels, gas engines. So I don't know. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do. Um, and yeah, I, I, that's, that's basically end today's video. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end this video here. It might just quit out and you might see the intro or outro, or I might continue and kind of go to Publix or continue my day. It's only 12.30 now, so it is still early. So I'll either see you guys tomorrow for another video, 8 p.m., or I will see you guys in the next frame.